the biggest breaking stories over here right now actually is something that should be breaking stories themselves rather than being in the news. Talking, of course, about the actor from Lewis, Lawrence Fox, and two other suspended and pending, shall we say, uh, axings from the UK TV channel GB News. The reason why I wanted to share this update with you was just simply how these sort of stories escalate, you know? They really take a life of their own and then everybody says, oh, it's a crisis, all of that sort of stuff. Now, there's no denying, and I have met Lawrence Fox on numerous occasions, always found him to be very charming, very polite, and more importantly, very, very intelligent, you know? So it makes it seem rather strange that he decided to go down the alleged comedy route with that remark about said journalist. What's interesting about the said journalist, though, is there's no two ways about it. She's enjoying the limelight, and people now finally know who she is. And equally, I have to say, in fair and balanced views, if you check out her social media posts, she's been less than gracious about the male species on various other occasions. But the bottom line is, this story really is all about men's mental health. That's where it truly erupted from, on the BBC, a little to watch daytime TV show called Politics Now or Politics Live. You never know what they're calling them, do you? But there you go. What's interesting, though, is this. As you can see from this particular story, it now appears that the outburst, shall we say, from Mr. Fox on the news channel GB News has now permutated into the wider family. Now, as you know, the Fox acting dynasty family are indeed something of a dynasty, you know. So many of them have been in so many wonderful films, and for many people out there, they will know Edward Fox, Lawrence's father, playing, of course, Edward in the ITV dramatization of Edward and Mrs. Simpson. A brilliant role, a brilliant performance, and really one that resonated with me very early on and my interest in the British monarchy. I truly, you know, I was lucky enough to meet Edward. Wonderful man, in fact, everything you could imagine. But here's where it gets really strange. You see this story here. This is all about Freddie Fox. That's right, another relative of, of course, Lawrence Fox. Now, the bottom line is they're claiming that Freddie's had a role rescinded in a brand new production of the musical by Candor and Ebb, Cabaret. Now you think, wow, you know, that's pretty harsh. Apparently this is because they don't want to be associated with him with the toxicity around in Lawrence Fox. One might suggest, of course, given the fact that the activist Dylan Mulvaney, yes, the one from the Bud Light debacle who's been invited to uh, audition for a part in that said Broadway production, well, is there any such thing as bad publicity? What's interesting here, though, is if you dig deeper into this particular story, let's not forget that this particular newspaper has a vested interest. You see, they basically are, shall we say, some might suggest, anti-GB News, and this is simply because the major shareholder of GB News is none other than a man that's possibly interested in buying the much beleaguered Telegraph Media Group over here, the Daily Telegraph. So, of course, it does them no disinterest or no disservice at all to make sure that they're putting the media spotlight in a positive or negative light. Now, as for this particular gentleman losing this role, we reached out to that production and they said naturally they wouldn't want to discuss it, but it was a contractual problem. Make of that what you will. But the story you're reading about, of course, is the hullabaloo surrounding a little watch news channel over here. And more importantly, an actor who was at the peak of his powers, but seemingly has gone now in the activist route. And on top of all of that, let's not forget the story originally was all about men's mental health. How quickly these things escalate into the world of celebrity. I'm sure you'll agree. Neil Shaw in the very heart of London.